All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the regular expression in order to solve the issue with the delimiters that we can have just more than one, right? Like now, in our, our program, we are actually using comma as the delimiters. Now the challenge for this is every time when you enter and you want to terminate programs from the scanner keyboard, you have to put the comma at the end. Otherwise program will not terminate because they're looking at comma delimiters. Now we want to do something that we can have either or. We can just use a pattern here, right? We see that you can use a or, or is the bar symbols. So if I use bar as an or, right, I can do that to create a pattern for the delimiters by using pattern.compile, right? Now let me show you the program running by its own, right? Now it's waiting for me to enter the numbers one, two, three. I have to enter a comma at the end in order to make the program output correctly. If I don't do so, all right, if I don't do so, it won't run. It's going to generate errors. But because it's used only one, now if I use the regular expression like or, right, or the the space itself or at the end, right? So if I do one, two, three. Okay, if I just say, okay, or, or the default or one, two, three, it works. Because the regular expression, right, that we use matches either a comma or, right, the default one, right, which is space or at the end, right. So that's the point of using regular expressions. So when we're doing this, we should explain. Right, put a comment like using regular expression. And if you want, you can provide resources here, right? Like matches either A or B, right? Now, if you happen to need more than one line, you can just put the multiple line comments that we have learned. And it doesn't have to be in Java doc, right? And these symbols that we use, right? So that that should help when we read the program, right? Well, in this case, right, we just do this match it either, right? That what we do, right? Either comma or The blank one at the end, right? <laughs> Let's say regular expression syntax, right? This is the expression for match just begin offline. You may see this application being used in credit card to say, hey, to verify this is a Visa card, 
the beginning of press start with four when you open your wallet you see all the fours those a visa and that's how you pretty much put in your program when the customer swipe they know right away this is visa or mastercard right we can make a simple program once we learn if else you can just simulating enter credit card number stage it and see it's going to tell right away visa or mastercard discover because if it's discover start beginning with six diners club is three american express is three right and mastercard here mastercard you may see there's more something that you have to read here because mastercard number i just start with number five one through fifty five you see so that's why this this is telling let's read what's that question mark colon so that's why you have to refer back to this if you didn't use it often here groups regular expression without remembering matches text okay so you do parentheses is group regular expression and remembers matches text so that means it has to match this group but if you say without remembering re doesn't have to be match re okay let's test in the program like I said, when you're reading this, you, you pretty much do, may not understand. But when you see example, you start to understand that. So this pretty much is telling us that it's try to find number that running between 51 through 55, 51, 52, 53, like parentheses in the brackets, square brackets, meaning if you scroll back, match it any single characters in the brackets. See, so that's why uh, by reading itself is so confusing. You have to really see how it works here in the program. But by reading this program, sometimes it's hard to understand too. <laughs> but because some program doesn't have a good example. All right, so you see this is how we learn and we can see what is this again, right? The curry braces. That's going to be part of the regular expression like that. Match it exactly in number of occurrences of preceding expressions. So it's telling that it has to be 12. Right? Exactly 12 digits, right? For the preceding set and another set matches like three right for like say all visa card numbers start with a four so we have four which is one digit and this is 12 digits 13 digits already and another three 16 and we see that credit card has 16 digits all card has 13 right so this is 13 this is another three right and those symbols telling us in parentheses let's look at parentheses right there right groups but in parentheses it's also showing you have question mark colon so it's that's why i say Group regular expression without remembering match text. All right, so this is just some example that you can start to read. These are things that we use, right, in regular expressions.